Welcome to Colmate Group's Clarison Function in a Flash, where each episode we introduce you to a new Clarison function and show you how to use it. I'm Cornelia Holman, and I'm one of the senior consultants at Colmate Group. I am a certified PMP and organizational change practitioner and have been configuring Clarison since 2019. With me today is Kelsey. Hi, I'm Kelsey Vo. I'm a certified PMP and project management technical consultant intern at Colmate Group and I have six years of experience in training and trading development. What function are we learning about today, Kelsey? To date. This function converts a date time field to a date value. This is useful because it gives you the ability to remove the time value within the field to make the date field easier to read and can be a bit more visually appealing. Yes, I have had customers specifically ask for this, especially when including dates in automated email notifications, like a due date or an upcoming milestone. Exactly. So here you will see the syntax for to date, which is pretty straightforward. Like we mentioned earlier, it converts a date time value to a date type value. Today, I have an example to show you how to use to date to remove the timestamp on a date value on a notification masthead. Let's take a look in Clarison. Awesome. I'm excited to see this in action. I have created a custom action on the organization level for demonstration purposes, so we can quickly see it on the left navigation bar. When I click on the custom action, you will see it automatically pulls in the string of a date time field. This field is displayed as a date followed by the time. When I click OK, you can see that the timestamp has been removed and only the date is displayed. This is the formula I've used, which is just the to date function and the custom field. Wow, that is really cool. Obviously, most people don't really need to know about 9 a.m. We just care about August 19th, so this is awesome. You know, Kelsey, another example we see a lot is using to date when telling Clarison how to calculate the difference between dates. So, for example, you could do this for project aging if you wanted to do the difference of today versus the created date, and that can be used both with today and today to date in partnership which saves you a custom field. What else should we know about to date? A couple quick tips and tricks when using this function is that when you're using a custom action or a workflow rule to pull in the date and send an email, to date can be very useful in removing the timestamp for readability purposes. It's important to remember that you must use a date time field or you will receive a syntax error in formulas. And that's to date. If you have any questions on this function, hit us up on our forum at colmegroup.com. If you found this useful and are ready to take your clears and skills to the next level, reach out via our website for individual consulting and training for you and your organization. Mm -hmm.